is a robot when it comes to comedy in the best way possible. Shit, I fucked up again. Becky, type it! Hiya. Uh, so this is my first time doing stand-up comedy ever. Um, but it's also my first time wearing a thong. So I, don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Um, but I came to scope this place out of, like six months ago and a bunch of new comics had like a little piece of paper. So I was like, oh cool, do a little piece of paper thing. And, uh, and now I just look like a dummy. But, but you know, it's cool because I suffer from a short term unpreparedness. <laughs> um, so anyway, uh, so people on Facebook are liars, okay? No matter how cute or how not cute your kid is, you post a picture on Facebook and you know you're gonna get at least four or five people commenting, oh, so adorable, so adorable. But I know that's not true. Cause my friend has an ugly kid. I mean, not like ugly, like unfortunate, like unfortunate looking kid. Who looks like a mix between like Shrek and like a foot, right? It, it's legit guys. So anyway, whenever he posts pictures of her, all these people are like, oh, she's so cute, so cute. Liars. <laughs> anyway, but I actually do have cute kids. So I got a, I got a couple of kids and, uh, and thanks to them, you know, I got some stretching that went on down there. I think they call it incontinence or something. So I leak, I leak urine when I cough or sneeze or blink and I was uh so I was my three-year-old walked in and I was putting a panty liner in my underwear and she goes mommy what's that for and I go oh honey um sometimes I leak pee sometimes I pee my pants a little and she looks at me and she gets the most excited look on her face and she goes sometimes I pee my pants a little too <laughs> so we bonded over that <laughs> kid this day and age is awesome, right? Like, if you want to watch cartoons, which I never let my kids do, but if you wanted to, uh, I could do a little bit. If you wanted to, you got Netflix and Hulu and they can watch cartoons on demand, right? They don't have to wait till Saturday morning. They don't have to watch commercials. And it's cool, but it's also kind of BS for me, right? Because, like, I didn't have that luxury and I want her to know a little bit about what I dealt with as a kid. But I don't want to just, like, take, I don't want to be the bad guy, right? So, uh, so every once in a while, uh, mommy unplugs the internet and we have a solar storm. Cause she believes that, she's three, right? And it's cool because magically the solar storm goes away when I need to use the internet. Um, but I was watching TV the other day, some uh, like a reality stingy show, um, Rising Star, I think. And uh, I was pleasantly surprised because Josh Groban is the host. Oh. So I, Becky, uh, Becky has a thing for curly haired guys. And uh, it's actually one, my, one of my motivations for making it big as a comic is uh, I think I'm gonna buy him someday. <laughs> so my, my dream, my dream, my dream is that I am gonna, I'm gonna buy Josh Groban and by day he's gonna serenade me Ave Maria and by night I'm gonna brush his hair. <laughs> um, I don't. Uh, I don't have time for everything I wrote on my little card here, but I do want to leave you guys with a very important question to think about tonight. Um, do you think that uh, when a hipster goes into an optometrist and he tells him that he doesn't need prescription eyewear, that a little part of him dies? <laughs> Thank you. Holy shit, Becky Typen, that was her first time. Can we please one more time? Holy shit. And literally my first time doing comedy, surprise, surprise, I was doing this, talking about my penis the whole time. So classic all around. But